Hey guys, just wanted to show my Steam Controller settings. If you watched any of my videos, you know I used the Steam Controller for pretty much all my games. So I'll start with the one that I'm playing right now, which is the Surge. If you open up controller configurations, you start with recommended gamepad with camera controls. I did a pretty simple setup for this game. It's not too complicated compared to others. Then you go in use mouse joystick on the right pad because if I did mouse I would have to change all the buttons of the rest of the bindings to uh, keyboard bindings so mouse joystick is fine I go in here and I do trackpad friction I have it on medium and also haptics is my the most important thing for me I always set it to high if I don't have it set to high then it just doesn't feel right and for this game I up the friction on the vertical scale a little bit because my camera was just moving a little too fast upwards that it wasn't really needed for the game to be looking up that much very fast so I put a little more friction there. Another thing you can do is on the sides of the controllers the grip buttons I uh, well actually I'll show you on the activators for every binding you do you can uh, change the haptic intensity which I like to do like right here I put it to high on the heavy attack so every time I do a heavy attack, there's a nice high haptic vibration and then light attack, then medium. So it's just a little different kind of vibrations for whatever button you want. So you can go into every binding and do show activators and customize all of that. And so even on this joystick, I have medium haptics. So every time I walk around, it does that and it feels right. It has a little bit of vibration. And now the game settings, I had camera bobbing I turned off, camera sensitivity I put at 60%, and then video settings, I have very high and at 1440p, I'm on a GTX 1080, so that's why it runs very well that way. And a cool thing here for this game is controller imagery options they have. They have even the Steam controller imagery, which is very cool. Not many games have that. And then, so it automatically detects, and then all the, the prompts are the Steam Controller buttons, even in the game. So that's my setup for this game, and I'll be making videos of all my other games that are more in-depth.